Hello, my name is Kane Munner and I'm talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So what are today's lyrics? Well, they're on my shirt. There's no other way. Well, I could have picked any song, any song from Britpop, because today is all about Britpop and how music can change your life or how art can change your life. And we did a Daddy Eats Last podcast last week with regards to our favourite bits of art or music or books which have affected our lives. And basically, I'm going to tell you a story today. Back when I was 16 or 17, uh, I was a little bit into punk music, sort of more commercial punk, Blink-182 when they first came out, Rancid, Green Day, uh, those sort of bands. And then I stumbled across Oasis and Blur when I was around 16 or 17. Uh, not many people at that sort of stage were really into Britpop in Australia, but I loved it. I loved the lyrics, I loved the music, and there was a couple of people within my friendship group at school who were also into them. And one day I went around to Andrew Stalder's house uh, out in Baronia, in the outer suburbs of Melbourne, and his sister was really into that sort of music as well. She had some Melody Makers and NMEs, and uh, he busted a couple of her CDs, because that's what we had back then, CDs. We'd progress past tapes and we're into CDs. So. Uh, she she got out Morrissey and she got out Suede. Uh, and I fell in love with Britpop music. Uh, this was when I was 16 or 17. Fast forward five years and I finished high school. I'm now at university studying accountancy. And after a class up at the main campus at RMIT in the city, up on Swanson Street, I stumbled across a radio station, a community radio station at that time called SRA, which then became Sin FM uh, 90.7 or uh, 907 or however you want to pronounce it. Sin FM, and I stumbled across SRA as it was then, and I thought, well, that sounds pretty cool. Is that they're on air? They're, they're doing radio. I, I've never done anything like that before. I'll, I'll just poke my head in and see what this is all about. And this is completely against, uh, I guess, my personality just to kind of roll into somewhere. I must have been feeling uh, sort of ultra confident uh, that particular day. So I go in there, and it's a community radio station, and basically you can do a course, a little radio course, on how to produce radio. And from there, after you've done the production course, you can then uh, you know, record a demo, submit a demo, and if your show is okay or you know, it's deemed acceptable, it will be put on air or it can be put on air. And they had rotational periods of six or eight weeks. So I went in there with a friend who was into Britpop and we did a, de did a demo called Brits and Pieces. Uh, and lo and behold, we managed to get on radio. So we did eight weeks of that and then the person I was doing that show with uh, dropped out and somebody else stepped in to, I guess, present the show with me after we got a, were lucky enough to get a second sort of rotation and you had to do a couple of rotations and then you had to sit out for a little while. So after doing that, uh, the person who I was doing the radio show with became uh, really involved with the radio station and uh, president at one point, but before that was in the, uh, I guess, the production side and picking which shows were on air. And I didn't get one even though I knew the person who was uh, you know, picking the shows, but uh, I guess I had to come to terms with that. Uh, but they said, oh, listen, we, we can't actually give you a show, but there is somebody uh, who's working, who's doing a show at Sin FM, and they've gone through a couple of producers. You're an excellent producer, Kane. Can you help them out? They're really fussy with what they want out of their show. They want it to be as professional as possible. they have really driven, and they've got a really sort of, they've got a great niche on what, what, what they're wanting to do. And they're also bringing in some pretty good sponsorship money to the, show, uh, to the radio station at that time. I said, sure thing, happy to help you out, happy to, I have a crack at this for a couple of weeks and see if I can, I guess, solve the problem for, for the guy who is really struggling to find somebody who can help him, I guess, meet his vision with regards to his radio show. Turns out that guy was Scott Pape, the Barefoot Investor, and I produced his radio show at Sin FM for two or three, uh, two or three series, maybe four series back sort of uh, 10 or 15 years ago when he was doing that online. And I was an accountant, he was a stockbroker. We were sort of the only two business people inside the radio station who was studying business. There's a lot of people who were studying a lot of different art uh, subjects, which is cool, but we're the only sort of business people, so we had that sort of uh, so that sort of thing in common. Helped him with a whole, a whole bunch of number of other bits and pieces, uh, I guess, over time. And I guess I've kind of, I say I've built my business on the back of that, but it's been a really big driver in our business, having, um, having helped uh, the Barefoot Investor with a number of things going all the way back, from, all the way back to the radio show. But again, that is purely based on the fact that I got back, I got into British music back when I was 16 or 17. If I had never gone to Andrew Stalder's house and listened to Swade and Morrissey, I would never have got into it. I would have never have gone to the radio station. I would never have met a whole bunch of people who have been really, uh, really super important in my life and people I still uh, maintain contact with to this day. So a great piece of art or a great piece of music or a great book 
can change your life if, uh, if you get it at the right time in your life. And there's lots of incidents out there of uh, bands writing songs and people who are maybe going to kill themselves not committing suicide because they've heard a particular song at a particular time and that reminded them that life is actually pretty good when you, when you, you sit down and you think about it. So I know it's, it's a long story, but I've helped people along the way, all on the back of uh, yeah, rolling into a radio station to do a British music show because I listened to a piece of music when I was 16. That's 25 years ago. So this weekend, uh, no matter where you are, Bust out a book, bust out an old CD, bust out a song that uh, reminds you of some good times or some different times in your life because a great piece of art can change your life. Have a great weekend and I'll be back next week with another piece of life or business advice in song lyrics.